Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video. The other half of it's time for that Coach for the Street podcast. Hit that like button. So, this video here is about Remy Ma suing Tasha K. You feel me? What I'm saying is allegedly entertainment purposes. I don't want nobody to get anything misconstrued. But they saying that Remy Ma is ready to sue Tasha K. You know, this ain't the first time we hear that people want to sue Tasha K because she got one of the biggest platforms out there. Let's just keep it real. But it's not Tasha K fault, Remy, why you got caught up. If it's anything, it was Geechee Gotti. You feel me? Because we ain't know everything that was going on like that until Geechee Gotti went on went in there on you on that rap battle. Let's just be honest. And the way he embarrassed you on that rap battle, you couldn't even say nothing. You didn't even try to defend yourself. You just let it be. You just let by guns be by guns. And it ain't Tasha K fault. It ain't Tasha K fault at all. This is all your fault. Because number one, you was married, you feel me? You was married to that man. He rode with you seven years. Made sure you had everything you needed. You feel me? I know every relationship have its differences, but let's just be real. This man was praising the ground that you walk on and you turned around and did him like that. You feel me? And now you looking like donkey of the year. Because all these girls that want a good dude, you gave you gave them a reason, not them, you gave dudes a good reason not to go hard for a woman for a little minute. Because he dedicated damn near seven to eight years of his life to you. And y'all got a child. And you still embarrassed him, bro. Like, it, you can't take that back. Geechee got it made history. Like, the way he embarrassed you on that rap battle, you can't take Oh yeah, and another thing, Adam 22. Adam 22, you gotta be careful with playing with real street dudes, you feel me? I feel like people done gave you a, a little too much lead room. You, 1090 j Vlad, all of y'all, Sometimes y'all get out of hand with the things y'all doing. Now, you know you was wrong for indulging in what No Limit Cairo had going on and, you know, trying to make fun of that man because he got shot in the head. That's real trauma. That man is a real soldier. He one of the last ones left that can really tell you what was going on during that time, you feel me? I don't think that was funny at all. That wasn't funny because he checked you and then he made you look like a lame, you feel me? By saying all you had to do was hop in his DM and y'all could have got some money together. But instead, you go online with No Limit Cairo and try to make the man look crazy. And he said the next time y'all do an interview, he was going to invite your wife, you feel me? But that's what you get for playing with niggas. But then you turn around and got very disrespectful and then you said he changed something different trying to quote one of King Vaughn's lines. Listen, bro. Everybody don't take disrespect lightly, especially for the ones that went through what he went through. That man got shot in the head. He got shot in the head and he ain't doing his best, but he still... He's still breathing, you feel me? Through, through, through God's grace, this man is still breathing, Adam 22. So for you to be at the status you is and try to make that man look bad, I just think of, I just think that was real lame and goofy of you. Try to pick at a man that got shot in the head. Do you understand kids, I mean not kids, but people, mothers got hit. That was a funeral. That was a place of peace, you know what I mean, where he got shot in the head at. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. About old Adam 22 disrespecting Booster, man. Leave a comment. I'm gone.